Hello and welcome once more to Rune Labs. This month we've got some very important information about the future of Rune Labs and Mod Osborne's here to help you write the perfect pitch. But first up, Mod Avatar is here to take us to the depths of the afterlife. So this year's Halloween event was suggested by Cyndaquil. Uh, it was the Ixlorin versus Amaskat event. Uh, there's a lot of cool characters and a lot of cool lore surrounding it. We're well underway with the prototyping of the event now. We've got some good ideas, decent designs. Uh, we've been talking to Cyndaquil quite a lot over the last few weeks and the event's really come together. So this year's Halloween event is in the underworld. We've not been there before, but there have been some books in game that describe the area itself. So we use those when we sent it over to our concept guys and they've done a really, really awesome job. We've got some really cool looking statues, gargoyles uh, going on that are modeled after Ixlarin and Amaskat, the uh, jackal and the lion. The place itself is we've got one island at the uh, bottom which is going to have like the holding area for the event and then we've got the bridge over the river Nomenon. The river Nomenon is where the souls um, of the undead need to cross uh, to be taken into the afterlife. During the event you're going to be fighting Amaskat's devourers. Uh, they're there devouring the souls in the underworld and you're there to stop them. Um, as well as the Devourers, you're going to be facing off against Amaskat's avatar. Um, it's going to be at the gates of the Underworld and Inkthlarin is holding the gate shut until the time when uh, he's going to, ready to take all the souls through and then everyone's going to have to face off against the avatar. So the next main stages of development for the event are actually going into the, the lore and a lot of the characters that we want to get involved in it. We've been doing a lot of kind of mechanical and structural stuff to the event so far and we wanted to get that down and make sure that the real core of the event was, was good fun. Um, but now we're really happy with that. We're now going to start going around it and tying it all together with some really cool lore and story. Since February, Rune Labs has seen large updates, medium updates, events, new mobs, new quests and a whole lot more. But this month we're making some changes to the system. We managed to track down Mod Kelpie to find out how the changes will affect you guys. So not too long ago, Mod Osborne sent out some feedback surveys around to the players to gauge their interest in Rune Labs. The responses we got across the board were very indifferent. Therefore, we're going to change things up for next year. So for the time being, Rune Labs is an open period. You can suggest and support whatever you like, and you can be sure we're keeping a keen eye on all your cool and crazy ideas. Smaller suggestions that we like may be included in relevant projects or be done as ninja fixes. Larger projects may influence our planned releases in the future. A good example is the current highest supported suggestion Rune Labs, and that is adding blood dyes to treasure trails. With a small graphical requirement and just a bit of plug-in to do, I'm sure you can expect to see it in the near future. So, it's now going to be more important than ever that you write the most kick-ass pitch possible. And luckily for you, the one and only Mod Osborne is here with tips on writing a pitch that will help you stand out from the crowd. Although, if you all follow those tips, then you'll all be from a different crowd in the same crowd together. Anyway, here he is. I'm here to give you the top five tips about how to get your Rune Labs idea noticed and in-game. Five, find a way to summarize your idea with a hook. Focus on what everybody can get behind. If you feel this removes some detail or complexity from your idea, add them as stretch goals at the end of your post. Four, get the community behind it. Take to Reddit, your clan, forums, or even tweet to Jmod. Get them all to champion your idea. If your idea is good, people will flock to it. Images in particular will get your idea seen. Three, if you have a cool reward, make it a separate Rune Lab suggestion. We're always on the lookout for cool rewards and then get lost in another suggestion. Two, don't use tricks. If you manage to get your idea to the top of Rune Labs with a title like, support my idea and get a pee hat, we'll remove it and you'll run out of bank pretty quickly. One, think about the original, the imaginative and the left field. We're loving your ninja fixes and quest sequels, but we'd like to see more outlandish ideas. If you have a wild idea that changes the way people play, Put it on Rune Labs and see what happens. Well, that's about it for another episode of Rune Labs. Now remember, we're not looking for any set criteria, so now's the time to submit all your weird and wonderful ideas. And if you follow those suggestions from Mod Osborne, hopefully it won't be long till we see them in the game. See you next time. So during the event you'll be tasked with going and rescuing souls that are drowning in the river Nomenon. Um, ah, Nomenon. So not too long ago, Mod asked... Nomenon.